All right, we're back with another C to the C movie review, and it's all three Make of us three. this time. Yep. Yeah, the yeah. three amigos. Yeah, I think this the is the way a lot of these are meant to go, but we'll, we'll decide as we go on. There, there's a lot to tackle uh, with, 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 with what's coming out these days. But today so, we're doing the long-awaited Mario movie review. <laughs> yes, yes. And what was the movie actually called? Was it just called Super Mario? Or was it called the Mario Brothers? It was Super movie? Mario Brothers, um, yeah. The Super Mario Brothers movie, I think. Super Mario. All right, now you're saying Mario. I say Mario. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> yeah, Mario. maybe that's a British American thing. So yeah, we're it hoping is, you guys liked our Rebel Moon review, and also we did a Lost retrospective. I know Tyson did because he's a Lost fanatic. That I hope everyone liked. It's either out or will be coming out. But today we'll be talking about the Super Mario movie, and I want to get it off my chest that there is some cultural discussion to be had around this movie because i think a lot of people took it easy on this film because they thought that it was doing something that other films from popular ips were not doing so for instance we have star wars which has been disappointing to a lot of longtime fans marvel which has gone in a terrible direction that people aren't on board with and dc and you know you talk to take your pick right uh, of some show that's kind of been revived and not really been put together as they like to say for the fans and have sub subsequently failed mario to a lot of people was the answer to that they love to hold this movie up and say hey just give the people what they want give the fans what they want and you'll have an awesome movie that'll do well at the box office yes this movie did do well at the box office but i think people took it way too easy on it because it was overly formulaic and and straight lined in the most simple way possible to appeal to the most i don't even want to say the Mario lowest fans. common denominator yeah. that's a great way of putting it the lowest common denominator of people that are aware mario exists so i just wanted to come out of the gates and say this movie is terrible to the point <laughs> where it is <laughs> insulting and let me just give some background from oh, myself i i am not your typical mario fan i'm not a fanatic i don't have mario posters hanging out but i play first off i grew up on mario like any normal person would but i also play kaizo mario games which are extremely difficult super mario world game mods on my computer that involve tons of repetition, and Tyson and I always fight. I always say they're harder than Dark loser. Souls, which they are. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a it's a level of loserdom you all weren't aware of until now. So what I'll tell you is, when I was ready to see this movie, I went in with an open mind, and and what I got was just it was terrible, and and we'll we'll go into why, but it was but, just there was nothing first, there for I me. I want to do some uh, investigating if, before I get into my thoughts first. Um, okay. Let me let me ask you guys a question. What did you guys feel when you were watching the movie? What was, what was your emotions? <laughs> I felt that. Sorry, I am hogging it. I. What did you think? Yeah, yeah. It. What did you feel? What did you feel? I went into open minded. I really, really did. Um, because Sonic, because Sonic the Hedgehog, right? That's what they were up against. Mario mm. and Sonic, the Battle of the Titans, brought back from the dead in the nineties. You know, the age yeah, old war. Sure. So the Sonic movies were great. I mean, the first one was okay-ish. The second one was genuinely great, in my opinion. Arguably one of the best video game movies ever made. So I went into Mario knowing it had the budget of Nintendo. A lot of the control, creative control, was in Nintendo's hands. Miyamoto was right at the wheel. Surely they can't make it that bad, right? So, <laughs> um, I went in, and immediately, immediately, you just getting thrown, thrown around with, um, what's the word? Uh, fan service? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, and, not, and I was like, it was okay, like a I treasure mean, hunt. <laughs> the introduction to the movie, like, okay, sure, we'll we'll give the old boys a a nostalgia trip. But then it cut into Mario and Luigi in a a New York City and them having a family and and <laughs> and like being a child and like having having issues with his father and his mother. And I was like, what? Which they never touch on again in the movie, which we'll go into more. But how did you feel? What, yeah, what did you what, what, feel? Was there a range of at that emotions? Point, at, that point, at that point, I felt... I felt... Chud rage. 
Okay. Rage? Okay. More <laughs> did you get like you get millions progressively... and millions of Goombas must die. <laughs> okay, okay. I, was like, I, un- I immediately angrier? understood what kind of audience they were catering to, and it was not okay. me. Okay. Okay. Um d- did I get angrier throughout? No, yeah. I-, I think I think what happened was I became more detached. So we'll go over a brief summary. So it went from feeling nothing to detached entirely. By the time they were getting to the scene where they were lining up for the 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 Bowser, the forced <laughs> arranged Bowser and Peach wedding that that made no sense, and showing all the different people in the audience. Oh, there's Petey Piranha. Or here's some funny Blue Koopa boss from Super Mario Brothers Three. You're supposed to be enjoying that part. I was so detached by then. I didn't care about the wedding. I didn't care about the fan service. I didn't care about what mm. I was seeing because I was too far gone. They they had lost me by what so was happening before reason- that. So yeah. Yeah, the reason I asked for your range of emotions from both of you is I think judging from what you guys have told me, what you guys just experienced is what I experienced when I watched <laughs> Oppenheimer. Oh, of course oh, you had really? to make it about that. So, okay. but but I'll I'll go off the bat and say um I think I actually liked the movie. It wasn't that bad and I actually <laughs> I have a positive opinion of it. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Um, well, that's pathetic then. So you must like terrible movies because there was no movie to be seen here. This is an hour and a half but long But I like commercial. good movies and I like this one, so it must I, be I good. I just want to add something real quick. Um, <laughs> the movie was an ins- the movie was insulting, like from the get go. Yes, it was insulting. How? I was insulted because it treated me like a child, but not my inner child. Instead, it was treating me like a man child. And. <laughs> okay. That was represent, and I felt as if I was supposed to self-insert myself as Mario, like being a literal man-child, like at a dinner table with disappointed parents. And for one, that hits too close home, too close to home for me. And uh, and two, um, <laughs> damn, <laughs> I like the meta commentary on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, this and, is great. And the other thing is, when I was a child, I I didn't self-insert myself like that as Mario. When I was a child, when I was playing Mario, I was like, okay. The message in this game is you are a man and you are adventuring with your brother to save a princess from an evil bad monster. Okay, it was simple, mm. it was clean. That's what ha- appealed, that's the problem. It appealed yeah. it, it appealed to the to, to um sense of wonder and adventure from my child. But the, the under, underlying all of that there was like tranquility, but in this there were undertones of adulthood and and like having to become a, a grown up and take responsibility for your life and like appease parents and your well, that's and the life. issue that i have when they try and personify non-verbal gaming characters and, and give them these strange personalities and a home life with an alarm clock going on and a and, job and the equivalent <laughs> to a racing yes i don't i don't want to see mario have a job so i'll, I'll just okay I, I'll do a quick summary and then kind of feed some of my issues into that as I'm saying them because I know that you were wondering what the problems I had. So essentially what you start off is Mario is working an average plumbing job, starting a company with his brother, and he has a family that's asking some questions about him and his future in the beginning, and he finds a mystical pipe, okay? And that leads him to... Stargate. <laughs> Yeah, he finds the Mario Stargate question. <laughs> and then it leads him to Toadstool, the, the, the Mushroom Kingdom. You meet Toad, uh, you meet Peach, and Luigi goes missing. You don't find Luigi. And somewhere in here, there's, I wouldn't call it a MacGuffin because it doesn't have any attainable plot mechanisms, as in they're not adventuring and losing control of it and finding over and over again until later in the movie. But there's also this wondrous star that Bowser needs to take over the Mushroom Kingdom that he already has. He he already (laughs) has it, and for some reason, it gives Mario immense power when he uses it. But when Bowser has it, he chooses not to have it (laughs) and just do performative (laughs) acts around it. So a few questions that I have in the first place. I don't want to watch Mario and his brother live with the struggles of being plumbing entrepreneurs. That's not interesting. That's not whimsical. That's not what I think of when it comes to Mario. I don't want to see him having depressing conversations with this extended Italian family. I do that once a month now in my own life. And then when you get... yeah, Real quick about the Italian thing. In the games, Mario is an Italian-Italian. In this, they made him an American-Italian. 
a really good point. In this one, they make him a North Jersey New Yorker Italian American. <laughs> oh, wait, hold, I was like, hold on a second. This is a this is this is for one, it's not lore accurate, obviously. But two, this changes his entire character. Like, yes, does it? If they, really. they make if him they a Metagon Mario. Think I, about I, I, think about what if they committed to like an Italian Mario and they had him like a Roman Catholic and he. <laughs> <laughs> a priestly Mario, oh, do, doing the uh, what is it? The fo- the, uh, the when they do the cross motion over their shoulders. Well, you, you want know? Mario to do a fucking <laughs> like hail mary before he fights Bowser? Yeah, like, <laughs> he's, he's like praying like, to Christ. Tyson, you just made the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so he he gets teleported in this other world. That loses Luigi in the process. He gets taken to Bowser's castle, and we meet Peach. Who it's so funny that a lot of people who love this movie for giving the fans what they want and in some ways indirectly saying they hate strong, not hate, but they dislike um, overpowered female characters seem to not have much to say where, where Peach is the ultimate. Um, it, she is the plot protector throughout this, even in the final scenes of the movie, she becomes overpowered to save herself from the wedding. And you know, up until the very end, where Mario only gets his powers through getting the star, which doesn't make any sense to me as a way to overcome adversity, adversity to win. Peach is in the driver's seat most of the time. So right. throughout this process, they need to go to D- Donkey Kong Land for some reason, and then back, and and Peach gets captured Shoe-born in this, and Mario Kart somehow on a random rainbow road out of nowhere. Well, so you're you're tapping into what my exact issue is with this movie, <laughs> and I'll give you I'll throw you a bone here because I know you like them. I is that this movie is a uh-huh. giant commercial because it tries to do everything <laughs> at once at the expense of an actual cohesive plot. So when you right. talk about children's movies, you think of stuff like Toy Story, right? Finding Nemo. These are level-headed children's entertainment with a cohesive A to B plot that really does capture a lot of the, the typical parts of a journey that you're looking for that that poke at all the right heartstrings, whether you're young or old. This movie thought that was all a given because you had Mario in front of you and it just right. threw everything. You like Super Smash Brothers, mm. it's there. You like Mario Kart, it's there. You like the original Donkey Kong, here's her. It was a really toned down Wreck-It Ralph. We already had Wreck-It Ralph do it in a smarter and more entertaining and emotional way twice before even getting this movie. And it's, it's just in embarrassing it was embarrassing i i could i couldn't stand like, it it feels like so my biggest issue with it is um it doesn't feel like it was made from the ground off from the ground up with a with a with a clear vision how do i word this it's like they were given a script right that hollywood gave them a script that they had to conform to and i'm not i don't mean to get conspiratorial or anything but let's just say it was that okay they were given a script and they have to um they have to play along a certain narrative. And then on top of that, they have to shoehorn around as much Mario as they can. Because it seems like the underlying the underlying narrative in in this movie isn't it's not it's not Mario at all. It's not. You're right. Not. It is supposed not. to be Mario's supposed so, to be the one that leads the way. He's the heroic one that risks his life and Peach is the one that's like basically unable to do anything. Um And, and they flip that. They flip that on him. Yeah, and just real quick, look, when I said I wanted to throw a bone to you, and you brought this up earlier with Sonic, those Sonic yeah. movies, they were very tasteful when they decided exactly. to kind of insert their their typical uh, recognizable themes in there and items that you're used to from 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 Sonic while having a, you know, robust kind of uh, digestible story. That, that actually that made you feel something. Sonic did that well. Mario said, forget that. I'm Mario. And they did everything at once to the point where it was nothing. It was nothing but a long Nintendo commercial. It, that wasn't with even Sonic, good. With Sonic, so, they, even, they were brave enough to even go as far as not only changing some of the lore, but adapting like some of the most important, most, like, most iconic parts yep. of the Sonic lore. Absolutely, and just real quick, Tyson, I'll just say before you go ahead that I think this movie, and and some people would have complained, and obviously not enough people are complaining about this because it's just it's terrible. I don't see how people like it, but it, it made plenty of money, so I guess I'm the problem. But this movie would have been 
good and able to stand the test of time like the Pixar greats if it focused on one type of facet of Mario. If you make it centered around the Super Mario 64 castle and world and did a story around just that with him jumping in and out of pictures, you know, having to collect, you know, make a joke about blue stars and and gold stars, something like that. Or the, the racing scene with the penguin, you know, so th something like that would be it would be a lot more lasting and tight, you know, than than what we got. Instead, we we got everything at once. What would he? He gets caught in a whale's stomach, like some kind of biblical allegory, and then spit out with with donkey. What am I looking at right now? It's ridiculous. It just needed to be more focused. It really needed to be more focused. So it, go go ahead, Tyson. We, we've named a lot. So what, what do you think? I'll I'll start out by saying, you know, by saying off the bat, I actually don't care about Mario, and I actually think he's kind of fucking lame. I've never played a Mario game, and I never will. Um, but you know what? That that probably gives me a better perspective for it uh, for this movie than you guys, because I feel like you guys are going way too autistically in depth on like minor, trivial things that don't actually matter. I'm looking at this as a kids film, and I'm viewing perspective purely from the perspective of if I was a kid, would I enjoy this? Right? And here's my notes on on the Mario movie so far when I watched it last night. Off the bat, animation is good. You, there's no, there's no denying that the animation is done well. Okay, no, it's not, it's not even that. That's not even that good. It's it that's does, not even that good. It looks, it's, it's fine. It's serviceable. It's, it's the quintessential. But, I, it's serviceable. This summer. Yeah, I think exactly. it looks good. Okay, and you know what? You're right. It is rather paint by numbers. It's predictable, but it's a kids movie. Who? It's Who not cares? even formulaically good. You know, the, you know, the, 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 the story doesn't even make sense in a formulaic way. It doesn't. I'll, I'll throw you guys a bone by saying, okay, the pacing is shit. Okay, there's there's no proper motivation for characters to help Mario. Like one of my big, one of the biggest things that that bugged me was, um, you know, why does Peach even care about fucking this random guy that came to a kingdom? Like suddenly Mario comes to her, he's like, oh, I need some help, and then like within like thirty seconds. She's saying, "Oh yeah, he's yeah, royalty immediately. Yeah, they're they're yeah. they're counting on us." I'm like, "Bitch, how is there an us in 30 seconds?" You know, <laughs> like, and then like, um, real quick, so like like one one, one, in, one second they're they're in Brooklyn, and then like next second they're embarking on a new new adventure. It's like there's no there's no motivations fleshed out, and that that was one of the glaring flaws that I saw in the film. But yeah, and I want to add everything add else. On the motivation point. Go ahead. So, so yeah. the way that they. The way that they um, appeal to every single... Like, they appeal to as many Mario games as possible. They throw in everything. They played all of their cards at the same time. And that gives me the impression that they, on some level, don't believe that the movie can stand on its own and then maybe have a sequel <sighs> a as well point. and like have it a continuing series. Such and you see, that, you see that in the way... You see that in a, in a kind of lack of soul or passion that, like... How do I how do I say this? I want to compare right. this to Sonic again in a second, but no, they threw they threw I everything would, into together. They had like a Luma in there. They had the Penguins of Mario sixty four. They had they had everything. But now, how do you fucking do a sequel from that? Because let's say they did Super Mario six. Let's say they focused on like the 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 mainline three D Mario games. You got sixty four. You got Sunshine Galaxy. That's such a good like. Oh, Galaxy movie, for, like, that'd be great. Series. A Sunshine would, movie, that'd be great. Yeah, if they just focus on that with Sonic, for example. They were brave enough to not only have the first move, but at the end of it, they had Tails come in. And they mm -hmm. went right into, like, the follow-up. And then in the sequel, they, like, they slowly, like, bled in some more of the lore, and it fed and melded well. It, and now they have Shadow coming in the third one. I was gonna and say, if they were unrestrained, they, I, they would... If they were unrestrained in the same way this movie was, they'd have Shadow in the first five minutes of the first Sonic and just blow Ex their fan fan exactly. service load immediately. See, this is so. what this is what I can't get behind. Like you guys are talking about all these like random random games that I don't care about. As 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 a casual fan, I don't care about what whatever like fucking Tyson, Mario Sunshine. Of course, like I'm talking it, about a, a okay. Mario movie. Tyson, okay, let and me put it this it, way: it's let a me, good let fun let Tyson, time. Let Tyson go. Let's, look, let Tyson look, go. Like, okay. like some some of the good things is like. I I enjoyed the, the game platforming scenes, like when when the scene transitioned to like them, where it looks sort of like a game. That was fun. Okay, There's barely and, any of that. And and the Mario Kart sequence, that was fun. With I like that. Take on me playing, like it's not even that you're a child. It's like you're mentally disabled. <laughs> that was fun, dude. I don't know what you want to say. It's it's a good it's a good kids thing, you know. If if this were just not Mario and it was Le Jumpy Italian Man the, the movie and the, and Mario didn't exist, you liked this movie. Yep. 
<laughs> okay, well Why? then I can't. You can, you cannot be helped because the, the visuals aren't great. The the soundtrack is embarrassing. The soundtrack? Are you kidding? Sto- no, 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 no. The soundtrack. That was one of my points. Actually, I liked the soundtrack and the nope, music. Nope. Nope. Tyson, there's an entire oh. catalog of uh, a nod to just video game history that could use any of these just incredible remastered tracks from Mario, Again, Donkey Kong, and, assuming, and they were created up to do they, they do Take, take on, on Me, me yeah, and, and the Beastie me. Boys Dude. like in every other movie you've ever watched. I'm sorry, you have no imagination. I, guys, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. You guys are forgetting that this is a kid's film. You think kids are fucking this playing Mario Sunshine? Kids. It's insulting think, to kids! Do you think kids even know what the fuck, like, half of the songs on the Mario catalog are? No one Put gives a shit way. about that. Are, ki- are kids still it's wanting to sit around and watch it's this a- movie? They don't want to watch Tyson, this movie. Tyson, it's Tyson, shit. Tyson. It shows that they even skimmed on it being a, a fan service celebration of Mario. Think about it. Yeah, they, they didn't even do a good job at that! Because it's a kid's film. Like, what do you guys expect? Tyson, you, like, I don't think you understand that there's a great standard for kids' films already in existence over the last 30 years. Kids' films can be extremely okay. entertaining, okay. captivating Be- to adults, besides, have a sense of humor. There's nothing here in this movie. Besides having it, Take On Me playing during the Mario Kart sequence, what, what was so wrong about that sequence? Explain to me. There was, first off, there was no plot-related reason of why they had to, what, take carts back to where they needed to go? And and the road got blocked off anyways, <laughs> even though they had a different method of travel for getting there in the first place? How am I supposed to get engaged in a part where they're doing carts just for the sake of it to put it on screen? So they can say that they had an homage to Mario Kart. It's insulting to me. It's insulting to me. And I love being an idiot when I watch movies. I'm the biggest idiot movie watcher. I told you this. It's terrible. Why Why do you care so much about the reason that they need or the reason they establish? I, I because they want to change the scene. Like, I like how um I like how blue shells are supposed to be like a funny meme, like a heckin' funny meme everyone knows about in Mario Kart, right? So in the movie, the way they squeeze it in is they have a shell that get pissed off and then decide to kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, screaming blue shell. That's true. Also, you, another thing I really liked was the world design. The kingdoms, Mushroom Kingdom and okay, Donkey Kong Kingdom I'm... looked good. They objectively looked good. So, Mario's I know what you're going to say. The games, but... No, they didn't capture it. Well, whatever. So, that, Tyson, that'll you're, feed so, you're, into so your Tyson, argument. you're playing on like how you know the, the world's cool, but you're also saying you'll never play the games, but you're also saying that I don't care if it doesn't like play on the childlike wonder of the original Mario. What are you saying? Yes, because yeah. you guys you are like bringing up all these aut- you guys are bringing up all these autistic uh, like trivial complaints about the thing like oh it doesn't have like a specific thing from Mario Sunshine. I don't give a fuck about that. Like it, it it's a kids so, Mario movie. It they they have cool set pieces, they have cool action scenes. That's all I need. Honestly. I think when I think when I I'm saying the opposite that if you were to remove Mario the only recognizable factor of this film, you're left with bad visuals, no plot, terrible direction, and an awful soundtrack. You're not even left with that. You have nothing. Mario's the only thing propping it up at this point. And the recognizability of the brand. I mean, you want to talk about some very simple things. Why Why is Bowser forcing himself to get married to, or forcing Peach to marry him while he's in the middle of doing some galactic conquest for this star that he actually already has and then also wants to for some reason bring that into the real world and you know what's really insulting tyson the biggest issue i have (laughs) with this movie there was absolutely and and when you want to talk about kids movies and character development it's pretty simple you find out that you had friends the entire time or the power that you needed was only within you mario quite literally did not become a hero until he was able to get a physical item the star that makes no sense he didn't overcome anything he was sitting behind the counter like a little bitch the entire time it gets time. worse than that it gets worse than I that because say it was a good because movie remember, it's passable it's acceptable re- remember remember the 2d uh, platforming scene um and like the the um the manlet humiliation ritual that mario went through <laughs> they they had him they had him like uh, take the mushroom and like they kind of portrayed it as him um like being on stilts or something or like like <laughs> how do I you know what I'm getting at? <laughs> yeah, no, sure. I, it's like, oh the power is within, but also you're a manler and you need to like 
take these steroids to he stay doesn't up, beat like, donkey kong up. unless he gets a power up as well hello the the small italian man overcome overcoming a brutish a brutish figure using his wits and his guts no he just got the right power up at the right time and that's how he beat bowser too and peach got out of the wedding just by using a power that you Wh what excuse me the this is deus ex machina plot devices to a degree that i don't need to know mario <laughs> it makes it's no sense so to me contrived. it's it is. It makes no sense to me. His relationship makes sense. And, and think about it this way. You start the movie of him starting a business with his brother and shortcomings with his own family life. <laughs> None of that is answered or addressed throughout the entire movie. You know That's embarrassing. Well, That'd be like Mario... finding Nemo forgets about Nemo halfway through. So Mario is usually all about his coins. But in this movie, he has none. <laughs> <laughs> Get your coin up, bitch. <laughs> Broke <ass. laughs> So I, I, th I thought it was, and, 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 and you know, wait, wait. imagine, imagine playing a Mario movie, right? And like you die, and then on the screen you get a disappointed father. <laughs> 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 it's, that is really well put. So I think I'll, I'll go back to kind of what I was saying at the beginning here is that if this is the reacto spheres answer to giving the people what they want then what the people want is unmitigated garbage undigestible trash this is this is embarrassing and to not be honest with yourself and just say okay i get this movie tried to give the fans what they want but it's a really bad movie you're just doing a disservice to yourself and the people listening to you it's it, it's an incredibly bad movie and there's i was gonna say i just you remind me of something when you're talking about sonic 2 so the movie uh -huh. Solo, Solo a Star Wars story, it, Mario kind of reminded me in the sense that it tried to do everything in Han Solo's story in one movie. He meets Lando. He does the, you know, Kessel Run in X amount of parsecs. He, you know, win, wins the Millennium Falcon. They tried to do everything in one movie, and it kind of ruined the mystique of the character and his history. It's the same thing with this. They just did everything at once until it was nothing, and I felt nothing. It's a terrible movie, so I, I well, hate Well, I feel somewhat the opposite, you know? I feel like, you know, your guys' history with Mario, that clouds a lot of the things. And honestly, I'm looking at it purely from the perspective of, if I was a kid, would I enjoy this? And as a kid, I wanted cool set pieces. I wanted cool action scenes. I wanted good good animation. And this had all that I wanted, well, you know? You should I, I think will, back... I will, cop, I will cop that this is... This is a bad. This is pretty bad when it comes to dialogue, and it's not. It's not there when it comes to the plot. I will give you that. But to say it's like a complete piece of like dog shit, no. You, I think it deserves more credit than that. I think it's like uh, it's it's okay. You know, it's it's serviceable. A okay. good kids right, movie. A good kids movie has a moving and emotional takeaway, in my opinion. One. That... Think about when I was younger. The Iron Giant came out like these are movies Nemo? that i still feel to this day all right put it this way tyson um first off if you think this is a good kids movie or you would have liked it when you were a kid can you please think back for a moment for me and try and remember if you took a bus that was a little bit smaller than the other buses to school because that kind of might be an indication of the kind of child that we're dealing <laughs> with here and <laughs> why don't you, for me, name one other good movie for kids? Name another good kids movie. Just one other Finding good kids Nemo. movie. That's okay. a good one. So compare the plot, the visuals, the payoff, <laughs> everything in that movie compared to this. They aren't even in the same. They aren't even in the same galaxy. I already told you. I'm not saying it's a good movie. It's a serviceable movie. Well, Finding Nemo is an objectively good movie. But I'm saying that you guys are hating on it too hard by saying, "Oh, it's it's irredeemable." It's it's a five out of ten. Okay, it's a Tyson, four or five out of okay, ten. Put it, okay, it's not like a zero. Mario. Mario is the most popular character in human history. Pretty no much, one cares yeah. about him. More popular than Mickey Mouse. No one cares this about is Mario. Nin today. This is Nintendo. Okay, this is their first video game movie. You, if you have anything other than like a gold standard of expectations. Then I'm, yeah, I'm not sure what point. to tell you. Like this is good point. You have to remember, like Mario, Nintendo. This is. I, I don't know how to, because I, I know you're not a Nintendo kid, Tyson. You didn't grow up with that stuff. But like, just the weight and like the cultural impact that those two entities have had on like people all over the world. 
and then to release this. I well, think think about Detective Pikachu. That's the other highly recognizable brand from I Nintendo, more popular <laughs> than Mario. They, I, look, it, it was it was tough uh, at some parts, but it tried something. It tried to do something different and made Pikachu a detective. Yeah, with I live actually liked action, and that was Pikachu. interesting I and fun. It was good. Yes, compared to th- that Citizen Kane, compared to this garbage. I mean, this is terrible. So I'm I'm just really angry that people let this slide because it was giving fans what they want and that, that th- this movie should have been panned a lot harder than it was that that c- the critical drinker reactosphere just letting this letting this vomit all over the screen pass by just because it it quote unquote gave the fans what they wanted and put out a lot of money I I don't stand for that I want to be critical no matter what. It's so. your it's your typical Socratic take of uh, the people want something, but the people are too retarded. So just don't. You should really. <laughs> so give make them something that. retarded, and I go. I can't wait till they make a Dark Souls movie, and it's like we need to find the Dark <laughs> Soul, and it's something really. And Dice is like, you would never say that. He never thought. Nah, nah, nah. I would and never then, say that. You, I would never say that. Off. You know why? Because I recognize I guess the bonfire a is lit movie. Now. <laughs> a movie. <laughs> is different from the game and you can't expect autistic Let shit from the game the to be in the film so you can't <laughs> i'm not gonna be like oh they didn't have the dlc the, the thing in the dark souls dlc in the movie because it's a movie i don't give a shit about you just that. know you just know there'd be like some <laughs> epic moment where the guy gets naked and like he takes like a fucking wooden spoon he, st- he like learns how to roll and it's like some epic thing and tyson gets up and starts clapping and he's like it's just like on twitch and reddit let's go <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Estus Flask? I don't know. Who knows? I never played those games because I'm too busy playing Kaizo Mario, a harder game. So yep, I'll, you're I'll scared, just... scared of uh, Dark Souls. It's fine. Yeah, mm. we'll we'll let all that go. So all right, so it is time for my favorite part, and this is the first time Ari's doing it with us. So I'm a little bit excited. So he's going to be the first Woo-hoo! one, so he can be unbiased. He gives it one wahoo out of ten. No, we're gonna give our uh, our ratings out of ten for this movie. So I, out of ten, what did you think of the Super Mario Brothers movie? Uh, I'll give it a, I'll give it a five out of ten. It does its job in terms of like satisfying a group of people. Really? It's not. It's not horrible in the sense that like, um. Like, I walked away disgusted to the point where it's like, it's not even worth talking about. Like, this is worth talking about. So that's saying something. At the same time, it's also not something I'll ever remember again. Like, oh, it's one of the most forgettable movies I've ever seen in my entire life. There's, there's nothing so to do So after that. all of this, you guys are going to give that a 5 out of 10? And you will no, come I'm just at saying, me I'm just saying, no, Tyson, Tyson, no, begrudgingly, 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 you're right in saying that there is an audience of stupid people with no taste and this satisfied them and in like achieving that at the very least at the very least means it wasn't so horrible that like it flopped the box office or anything and it's just like objectively terrible all around if you get on getting uh, they they failed at personifying they tried to personify him at the beginning of the movie and then forgot they wanted to do that and just let it go and said never mind he's just a guy on an adventure and oh he found the star and he won it's insulting it's so okay, right, how well, about, how well, about what's your rating four what's your rating more five? there you go no, we don't do decimal. We don't do that here. No, we don't do yeah. decimals here. Okay? You gotta have some conviction between one and ten. This is a two. It's a two. As okay. as a cultural Mario fan and a movie goer, neither of those parts of me were satisfied for this. And again, let me just say this. Well, not again. I don't think I said it before. I saw this in theaters, and usually there's a there's a buff. We talked about this before. Today. There's a theater buff. There was no theater buff here for me. This was terrible. I had my popcorn, my cookie dough bites, and my Diet Coke, and I still hated it. It was still garbage. So I think it could have been have, worse. Dude, you guys are you guys are annoying. It was Jang. It, my my cousin, my little cousin, uh, put it well at the end of the movie. He said it was the equivalent of jingling keys in front of a toddler for an hour and a half. <laughs> so, and I get Tyson likes that and thinks no, that's dude, good. So, you guys but, are. After all this, you're gonna give. Ari's going to give it like a 5 and you're going to give it 2. My original rating after I finished watching it was a 4. So what are we even okay. arguing about? What? Okay, now I'm, maybe I'm being too generous and I'm not familiar with your skills. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm like Shyamalan <laughs> Twist at the end there. Yeah, maybe you are being a little too generous. Yeah, well, yeah a, maybe I need a, to re- a wine would just be... I mean, let's just say 
a one is could be an hour and a half of a black screen and i can go well it is interesting they decide to put out a black screen for an hour and a half so hey, it's, it's i give one, a one it, artistically it, daring to say the least it's, it's one rating it's one rating metric away from a black screen so that's what i can tell you my two out of ten means so all right in go. that case in that case i'll give it i'll give it a three i think it could be more horrible um but it's not it's it's de- i definitely think it's worse than tyson <laughs> than tyson thinks so it's- there's better standards in kids movies video game movies animated movies there's better standards surrounding this entire project that make it look terrible in comparison so th- this is before you even get to the fact that it's mario before you even get to that mm-hmm. but tyson what about you you said uh, four right solid four out of ten um i already told like it's not a good movie but it's it's serviceable and it's not as bad as you guys it. are saying that's 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 all my argument was you know and honestly i enjoyed some of the animation it was really good in my eyes that okay. was the same grace like i think i think the, the way that the water looks and the way the kingdoms looked it was good <laughs> that's, where, that's where we're at. I think the way the water looks and the, this, this is a, a kid's book I think the report. graphics are good, but not the gameplay. Yeah, this, this is not boiling down his video game. Yeah, and then you guys are like, oh, did you have the fucking specific thing for Mario Sunshine? Like, like XXL edition or some shit. Like, Tyson, Tyson, just, just to be clear, Tyson, uh, Ari and I were using that as a vessel to describe that it needed a more closed, focused plot line. And they could have achieved that by focusing on only one type of Mario game or one Mario game from a from a different uh, you know era in time. It, they could have they could have had a more cohesive plot line out of that, but they chose not to do that, right? So I, I I'm not mad that it's not interesting that the- you get to explain your point, but then when I say that the animation looks good, somehow that means that I'm I'm like video game brain or something. It really really uh eye-opening there you know well i say what i mean i i back it up eloquently you just say uh things moving on screen good so it's the best you can do mm, right interesting <laughs> yep <laughs> uh, uh, well i i had fun and tyson i'm surprised the way you hit this well i thought you hated it like i did but maybe you're just uh trying to skate the thin line of you didn't like it but you also don't want to see me happy that you liked it so we are doing some little spy games here <laughs> um which which i like so until next time this is the c to the c movie reviews thanks for joining us i and uh yeah till the next one <laughs>